Now, I know you clicked on this video, and you looked at the title, and you're like, FBI? Girl, are you in trouble with the law? No, honey. I'm talking a whole different kind of FBI. Friends, best interest. Stay tuned. Obviously, I've been out of the game for like a long ass time, right? And we were talking about like process of elimination. Now, they said to me, like, wouldn't it be easier if you could know ahead of time if they were suitable or the best one for you or possibly the one or cheater, you know, all that type of stuff we discussed. So, I was like, yes, that's why I have the FBI on speed dial. And they're like, why? Why do you have the, the police on speed dial? And I was like, no, 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 don't get it twisted. The FBI is friends' best interest. So what you do is you, like, as you, like, have a love interest or whatever the case may be, right? And you're just like... Okay, I want to know if this person is worth my time or a waste of time, okay? So I said what I do, what I did when I was dating. Um, I had my friends basically kind of do like an interview with them because I just like, I made a promise to myself and I promised myself that I would not whatsoever date anybody that's not worth my time. But obviously, like, when you're young, you're dumb, you have fun, you have, like, you try things out, you know, like, going on dates and just, like, hanging out, you know, getting to know them, stuff like that. And I did that. And I also did some stupid shit in the past, okay, like I have, like, certain types of friends, which um, my friends call FBs, now you're like, FB, what the, f what is that? FB is a short acronym for fuck buddy, yeah, so, it's kind of like a, it's not a relationship, it's just basically like, you hit them up, you're like, hey, you want to come through, and whatever, and they come through, you know, and it's kind of like a, it's not like a relationship, it's just like, sex. Now, honestly, I wanted to have fun, right? I just wanted to be free, experience life, and stuff like that, so yes, I did do that. The other thing is that um, I did date some terrible candidates, if, you know, I dated a lot of terrible candidates. And, not gonna lie, it, it taught me some valuable lessons, right? So, after the lessons were learned, I was just like, okay. I'm gonna get out of the dating game. I promised, I made a promise. I was like, okay, girl, you're not gonna give your body, your mind, your soul, your heart to anybody who is not worth it, right? And I made myself write down a list of the things that I was looking for in a man. And it was like, I don't know, it was, it was, interesting, it was fun, kind of getting, like, I also got to know myself and what I wanted and what I didn't want, and I was just like, okay, what, it's, I, I just like, I got sick and tired of being alone, 
So I was like, okay, maybe one or two dates won't hurt. So I went on dates and then I ended up just like meeting the one, right? And it's just like, I don't believe in fate, okay? I don't believe in fate. I believe um, things happen for a reason. And one day, the reason actually knocked on my door. And that's when I met my husband. Now, I wasn't expecting to fall in love with him, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Um, this was after I got out of a relationship with my ex-baby daddy, and I was just like, you know, I was kind of, I was pulling back a lot. I know I was put, pulling back a lot. And he was kind of wondering why, so I told him that, that I've been hurt in the past before, and I'm not going to do that. So, he's like, okay, I understand that, I respect that, whatever. And it was just like, how can I say this? Okay. When he knocked on my door, it was just like, I was like, okay. And I was like, who is it? And he's like, it's blah, blah, blah. Or he said, said his name and stuff. And after he said his name, I was like, I was kind of cautious, basically. I was cautious of opening that door. So I looked at him and I was like, yes, can I help you? And he was like, he just was talking and whatever. And then I was like, okay, listen, let me tell you something. Um, I appreciate it, but I can't do that right now at this point in time, point in time in my life because, and then I invited him in and I closed the door. After I closed the door, I was like, have a look around. He looked around and the night before he came, I was robbed. I was like laying in bed and I was looking at the robber dead in the eyes. I remember this clear as day. I was like, okay. I was just, I was frozen, okay? I was frozen, and after I was frozen, he was just at the door, like the corner of the door right here, and we were just looking at each other. He had black, all black, black mask, black sweater, black coat, black shoes, black pants, everything, right? And then he left, the robber left. And then after I told him that I was robbed, it was like, I don't know. And then he asked me if he could give me a hug and I was like, sure whatever so he gave me a hug and then I was like okay well it was nice meeting you thanks whatever the next day he came over and after he came over he told me this he said he had to literally fight himself to bring himself back to my, on my door again so I was like who is it he said it was him again and then after that it was just like you know. So, again, I invited him in. After I invited him in, it was interesting. Well, I shouldn't say interesting. We just had a conversation. Um, then he was sitting on my couch, and after he sat on my couch, I said, do you want a drink? And I was like, he said, okay. So, I went to go get some champagne okay 
I got the champagne and he opened it and I poured it and then we had a few drinks. He was still working, you know what I'm saying? He was still working, like he was on the clock, but it was kind of like his own time, but whatever, he was kind of rebellious and yeah, so after that he's like, okay. Um, would it be okay if I took you out? And I was like, sure. So, we went out to dinner. And after we went out to dinner, um, he took me back home to my place. And then after that, um, we, got, <laughs> we got married. So that's how I met him. But what I did was introduce him to the FBI. This is the friend's best interest. So I introduced him to my friends. After I introduced him to my friends, you know what I did? I, I just let them talk and I was watching them communicate back and forth. And then my friend comes up to me and she's like, he seems alright. And I was like, yeah. He's, he does seem right. He's nice, he's sweet, he's this, he's that, you know, whatever. And then I was like, okay, now it's time to bring out the big guns. My friend's husband. Because he has been, he's like my brother, okay? So, um, they met, and he was just like, what do you want to do with with her? Like, what's your what's your plan here? And they talked and then there he he reports back to me and he said that the guy checks out. You see, he seems like a nice guy. I would suggest you go for it. What would you do if you had like a certain love interest, right? Like you just met somebody and you want to get to know them, but you want to make sure that they're worth your time? Comment down below. Would you introduce them to your FBI friends? Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go. If you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to give it a big. And also, write a comment in the comments section. And don't forget to... Anyways, guys, kiss from the missus. And don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beams that you are. Thanks for watching. Bye.